Today, I want to talk about 10 scientific backed ways how to normalize your sleep cycle. It doesn't matter exactly why we cannot fall asleep or wake up at desired time. What is important that we can control and normalize our sleep cycle. Number one, control the light. Obvious fact, we fall asleep when it's dark and wake up when it's light. It only lasts a few hundred years we have light at night. Before that, the only source of light at night was the moon. Hormones melatonin and cortisol are responsible for that. When our eyes don't detect the light, it starts producing melatonin. And melatonin lowers our body temperature, lowers our blood pressure and blood glucose. Together, all these processes make our body to go to hibernate, to fall asleep. When it brightens again, the amount of melatonin in our body drops. Cortisol, in contrast, when it's dark and there's a lot of melatonin in our body, this lowers the number of cortisol. Less cortisol means less stress, deeper relaxation, and good sleep. If you have a problem providing darkness, you will not have enough melatonin in your body what will increase the amount of cortisol. Conclusion is easy. In order to fall asleep at desired time, provide full darkness. Hang the blackout curtains on the window, turn off the whole world, and don't use social networks before sleep. And this is very important. Electronic devices have the blue light. Again, during the history, we had blue light only during the day. So when your body see the blue light, it thinks it's the next day. Number two, say no to siesta. Do not sleep during the day. As more you sleep during the day, as harder you will fall asleep at night. If you feel that you have to sleep a little bit, you cannot stand on your legs, then you can take a nap, but try the maximum 20 minutes and try it to be before 3 p.m. After that, it will somehow influence your night sleep. Number three, do not just lay in bed. If you cannot fall asleep 20 minutes or longer, get up, do something relaxing, meditate, pray, read a book. If you lay in bed, you teach your body that it is okay to lay in darkness. And this risks becoming a bad habit. Number four, wake up same time every day. We cannot control when we will fall asleep, but we can control when we will wake up. I'm using the smart band that starts vibrating and because it's counting steps, it knows I did not wake up, I just turn it off and continue sleeping. It continue vibrates. Waking up at the same time every day sets our biological rhythm, biological clock. Number five, observe sleep rules. Provide silence. Close the doors, close the windows prevent any sound entering your bedroom. In my case, I'm using these noise cancelling headphones sometimes. In the middle of the night, I wake up, I take them off like, oh no, 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 I want to go back and I put them because it gives you total silence. Normal temperature for your bedroom is between 15 and 19 degrees. Avoid caffeine drinks. It's not only tea and coffee, but also energy drinks and soda. Number six, do not eat before sleep. Our biological clock response to the diet we were sleeping during the night and eating during the day so when your body gets food it thinks it's already the next day what is more risky if today your body will get food before sleep and will not fall asleep tomorrow at the same time it will expect the food and you will not fall asleep and then again and then again and then again try to eat maximum two or three hours before sleep Number seven, try fasting. Our biological rhythms are responsive to availability of the food. It helps with insomnia during the jet lag, for example. It lasts around 12 or 16 hours, and that resets our biological clock. Also, fasting beneficial not only for your sleep, but also for your health. Number eight, go hiking with tents and backpacks. I hate hiking, being in the nature and having the natural source of the light, sun and the moon, night, day, will definitely reset your sleep cycle. Number nine is very effective but also very dangerous way. I use that for myself when I mess up with my sleep cycles and go to sleep very early, early in the morning. Well, in that case, I do not sleep 24 hours like the whole day. And the next day, I fall asleep the moment my head touches the pillow. So I wait till the night and then fall asleep. And number 10, talk to your doctor. For most people, these rules will help you to fix your sleep cycles and give you very comfortable and deep sleep. If it doesn't help, for sure talk to your doctor because probably you will have the undiagnosed insomnia. In some cases, it might need treatment or medication. Thank you for watching, like this video, share it and subscribe my channel. I hope you will do your best in order to get the deep sleep because sleep is the sweetest thing we have in the world. Bye bye.